Today on American Gladiators, four contenders take a step closer to a dream. But for one, that dream is clouded by personal tragedy. JoJo Edwards, who wowed us with his heroics in the quarterfinal, learned this week his father was shot in the head and now clings to life in a Houston hospital. But JoJo and his family agreed his place is here, in Gladiator Arena, to make good on the promise he made at his father's bedside to bring home the Gladiator Crystal. Put it to him right here. Gotta stick it to him. Showtime. Hi again, everyone. I'm Mike Adamley along with Lisa Miloski. Glad you could join us here at Gladiator Arena where the atmosphere is absolutely electric. And why not? As our second half semifinal round begins. It promises to be inspirational, if not for all of our contenders, certainly for one of them. JoJo Edwards' father, Joseph Jr., was shot twice in the head just before JoJo competed in our elimination round. JoJo's father is now recovering in the Houston hospital and he's doing okay. Meanwhile, JoJo is back here. He went to see his father, came back, and says he's been further inspired to do well today. In fact, he's win this thing. Well, Lisa Joseph, however, not the favorite. Number one seed, David Dietrich is. Big, strong, he has definitely gotten the attention of our gladiators. All right, we're all set to go. Event number one, Powerball. For the Gladiators, it'll be Turbo. The name of the game is Payne. Hawk. Yeah! Come on! And Sabre. 45 seconds to time limit. Contenders will try to score as many times as they can in one of these five scoring cylinders. Rugged going early on. David trying to split a double team. Goes down hard. 30 seconds to go. Jojo reaches out over Saber. And that goal by David Dietrich counted as well. 20 seconds now. David, the former oh. Scarlet Knight tight end at Rutgers. Rolled out. Had one roll out there, Lisa, you're right. We're under 10. Time for perhaps one more score, but the contenders will have to hustle. And that is it, down they go. Sabre, Hawk, and Turbo doing their thing in Powerball, only one goal apiece for each man. I dictated pain, and you saw it. Uh, gladiator firepower on display big time. David Dietrich goes down, and so does JoJo. The speed of JoJo Edwards, the power of Dave Dietrich, and you three shut him down, Hawk. Oh, Mike, the name of the game today was Pops. These guys came in here, it's the semis. These guys are trying to get some points racked up. We stuck it to him, lowered the boom on him. These two guys, myself, couldn't get to the bucket. That's it, he hit the nail on the head. P is for power, O is for ouch, W is for work, E is for energy, and the R is for rude. Because that's what happens. That's the kind of greeting you get in here. Woo! Can't add to that, baby. Women are up next. Bernie Wooster versus Peggy Odita. Peggy the Peginator, our top seed and the favorite here. She will take on Bernie Wooster. A surprise entry into the semifinals. She was the sixth seed last week. For the Gladiators, the triumvirate of Jazz, Sky, and Zap. Peggy was literally unstoppable in this event during the seeding round, scoring 11 points. She is strong and fast. Bernie is also, though. This should be good. Communication so critical for the Gladiators, and early on, they have it. Both contenders shoved out of bounds. Peggy trips and falls oh, before she can reach that cylinder. We're down to 30 seconds. 
Peggy trying to split oh, the double team. It doesn't pay off because she just missed that center cylinder. Hold on, Empowering hold on. by Jazz, but can't get it in. Bernie turns around looking for a score desperately. Oh. Can't find it. I'll tell you what, Sky, Zap, and Jazz doing a great job. Finally, oh. Peggy gets one to go in. 10 seconds to go. Maybe time for one more. Let's see what happens here. Oh, yeah. Bernie gets one in. And time expires. Oh, great match. Bernie and Peggy both score one goal apiece, worth two points. Great okay. hits. Uh -huh. Tough, tough go for Peggy Odita. What a battle, gals. First of all, Peggy, you are sporting a thick lip. Yeah. <laughs> it's a rough game, but that's the way the game is. You can't play it, you stay out of it. That's right. Again, these are the semifinals. Our four contenders vying for a spot in the second half championship. They'll meet our first half winners, Wesley Berry and Kim Tyler, and ultimately hope to compete for the Gladiator Crystal in the Grand Championship. All right, event number two, it's assault. Dave Dietrich, JoJo Edwards tied at two, coming in. Laser, doing the honors for the Glads. Former Rutgers University football star, Dave Dietrich up first. He beat Laser in the seeding round. He's hoping to get 10 points here. Rutgers and no Rutgers, you're going down, brother. Well, I think David has other plans in mind, Laser. As a former tight end, he's used to dodging bullets. That one just whizzed over Laser's head. Dave now at station number two. That one off the mark, 40 seconds. Station number three, oh. that one causes Laser to do a little dance, and Laser picked him off, he got him. Yes. Before David Dieter could get the shot off at station number three, Laser hit him in the shoulder, a referee right on top of it. So give Dave Dietrich two points, not three. Two points for firing two weapons. And now JoJo Edwards will get his shot. JoJo, a graduate of Robert E. Lee High School in Baytown, Texas, played football, basketball, and ran track. Ready, ready. Oh. That one hit the camera mount <laughs> high above our target. JoJo at station number two, 45 seconds to go, one. He's taking good aim. He's homing in on it. Boy, is he quick. Shaking and baking all over the place. You know, he takes one look and then just goes. 20 seconds still on the clock. He's got two final chances here at station number five. Oh! Chance to pick up the bonus point. He got it. So Joseph Edwards gets six job, points bro. and takes an 8-4 lead after two events. Bernie Wooster and Peggy Odita are ready for their run in assault. A look at the Zapster who will man the assault cannon. She is pumped up as always. Bernie is up first. Bernie, a former 330-meter hurdler at Millard South High School in Omaha. Zapp will make sure she has to hurdle some of these tennis balls. That shot whizzed right underneath the target. She's at station number two now and setting herself. And that shot wide left. 30 seconds to go. Bernie always with one eye on our Gladiator. She's at station number four now with 15 seconds to go. Oh, oh that one just missed. Very close. Can't miss her now. Low and left of the target oh. before she can get to station number five. Zap gets the job done with the last tennis ball in her cartridge there. 
now Zapp will set her sights on Peggy Odita, the Peganator. Peggy works for Air Group Express. She's a sales manager. She works out of Redwood City, California. Peggy Odita on her way. Zapp nearly unties her shoelaces. <laughs> that one just missed high and wide right. No, 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 no. That one almost hit the top of the arena. 30 seconds remain. Station number four. Well, Zap has seen a lot of her ammunition for the end here. Last chance here for Peggy Odita. Both just missed, and before she can get that bonus point, Zap nails her, going two for two. Peggy Odita does pick up five points for firing five weapons. And Peggy now has a one-point lead. She's on top seven to six. Peggy is a daredevil kind of a gal. How about this, bungee jumping? And she'll need that daring do as we go directly to our next event, Skytrack. Peggy again with that one-point lead. She will be in lane one. In lane two, our rocket-powered gladiator siren, she can scoot. Bernie will be in lane three. All three women set to go will have the start of the race right after this. It is post time here at Gladiator Arena. The women set for Skytrack. Good, clean start. Siren fast out of the blocks again. So smooth and efficient. And her arms and legs in constant contact with the Velcro surface. She is the first to reach the turnaround point. She is smoking it. Bernie's Bernie got great form, but it's tough to keep it compete with Siren. Bernie should get five points for being the first contender across. Siren does it again. She's now 3-0 in this event. As Bernie crosses to pick up the five points for the contenders. And that five points has put Bernie Wooster in the lead. For the moment, 11-7. Siren puts those goggles on, kicks it into high gear, and it's over. She loves this event. Siren, you have an interesting technique. It's like almost like a flip turn and swimming at the turnaround point. That's right, Mike. You know, I don't stop and then think about pushing that button. I turn, and as I'm turning, I hit it, and I can just keep going all the way. It works for you again, 35 seconds, and an interesting proposal over there. Siren, will you marry me? I think you ought to talk to that gentleman. I'm already married. <laughs> OK, better luck next time. Nice work. <laughs> oh, boy, Siren broke someone's heart, but she's going to go over and say hello anyway. Just a little innocent flirting, that's OK. All right, on to the men we go, where JoJo the Bullet Edwards has a four-point lead over our former Rutgers football star, Dave Dietrich. In lane one, it'll be Joseph Edwards. In lane two, our Gladiator Turbo, who is undefeated in this event so far this season, 3-0. In lane three, it'll be David Dietrich. <laughs> David Dietrich quick out of the blocks, but you gotta be careful negotiating those turns. Go too fast, you'll hang yourself up. You know, in fact, Mike, both JoJo and David have lost to Turbo before. Turbo, the first to reach the turnaround point. He's headed for home. Can Dave Dietrich catch him? If he wins, Dietrich, that is, he'll pick up 10 points. But right now, the race belongs to Turbo. <laughs> Turbo will cross go. the finish line first. <laughs> Dietrich, the first contender across. He picks up five points. And here comes JoJo, straggling in at third. He is shut out in this event. David Dietrich leads nine to eight. So JoJo's not so hot in the air, but on the football field, he's known as the Bullet. How did he get that nickname? Uh, I was hitting the hole so fast that the defense couldn't catch up with me. And he was like, who's that Bullet cutting through that hole? 
You know, we can't catch him. Who is that? It's, it's just me, JoJo. Just little old bitty JoJo. Well, our contenders will have to bite the bullet in whiplash. That's our next event. Our women will start things off. Very close match between Bernie Wooster and Peggy Odita. Bernie up first. She's got a tough starting assignment. She draws Sky. Who will own the bone? We'll find out in a second. Locking in, a look at Sky, undefeated in whiplash. Bernie Wooster will try her darndest against our six foot three gladiator. She's up against a lot of size, as you mentioned there, Mike, and strength. The burn dog, Bernie Wooster, going right, going left, going down the middle. Sky not budging. 10 seconds to go. Oh, she's got her close. She's got her close. Five seconds. Bernie tugging, tugging. Two seconds, one second. Oh, and Sky hangs on. Man, oh, man. An incredible effort by Bernie Wooster. She is shut off, but she still leads 11 to 7. Here's another look at it. She really had the right momentum going. She just ran out of time. Sky will try to hold her ground again against the Peginator. Peggy Odita quick on the draw. Now she'll try to fling Whiplash Sky in a different direction. Sky holding her own so far, oh. but Peggy finally got Sky off balance and picks up 10 points. Big victory for her here in Whiplash. Nothing fancy about it, pure power. There goes Scott. Lisa. Peggy, you are saying you are so glad. I'm glad it's over. I was really kind of nervous about that, but it went well, I'm happy. Why were you nervous? I've never gone up against Sky, and she's big and strong. I didn't know what I'd be able to do, but it turned out for the best. Great job, thanks Peggy. Woo! I'll say it did, 10 points gives her a 17-11 lead. One point separates David Dietrich and JoJo Edwards. All right, JoJo, here we go, buddy. JoJo up first, he draws Hawk. Once again, quite a size discrepancy here, Mike. But JoJo is tough and scrappy. Larry Thompson, our referee, making sure both men are locked in. Those initial seconds, very important. JoJo using that speed to whiplash Hawk around this ring. Hawk, however, holding his own. 19 seconds to go. Look out! Oh, oh, right no, there. No. Hawks. He let go of it. He let go of it. No one was. Come on. Come on. I think they're saying his foot stepped up before JoJo let go of the ball. From my vantage point, it appeared that. JoJo had Hawk's foot out. Larry, he let go We're definitely going to take another look at this one. Did JoJo let go of the whiplash triangle before he got Hawk's foot out? No. He earned the 10 points. Legitimately good call. And Hawk still in disbelief. For the moment, JoJo Edwards with the lead. But Dave Diedrich awaits his turn. JoJo, I want to know how a little guy like you pulled out a big guy like Hawk. Well, I have to stay low, and the main thing, I believe in the Lord, and I got it right here. It's all starting from in the inside your heart. Great job, JoJo. JoJo, divinely inspired and doing it for his dad, as we mentioned at the top of the show, his dad, Joseph Jr., in a Houston hospital. Can Dave Dietrich take the measure of Hawk? We're about to find out. It looks promising. He's already 2-0. Larry Thompson making sure they have the proper grip. They're locked in. Let's see what happens. David is a bull. Pure, raw, power, Hawk is out. Oh, David answers the challenge. He comes through with a big 10. He now leads 19-18. David, what are you gonna do? Frame this thing? You gonna take it home? Yeah, I like fly on the bone. I just I love this event. Way to go, man. 
David with a big cheering section here. Some of his former college football buddies, as we mentioned. He was big enough and strong enough to play for Rutgers, but is he at 6'2", 215, big enough to handle the glads? Someone like Tower, I don't think I have much of a chance doing that, but the other guys, I think I can match up strength for strength with them. David's next mountain to climb, the pyramid. The beat goes on here at Gladiator Arena with the pyramid tight match between Joe Edwards and Dave Dietrich. Remember, the winner here in the semifinals goes on to the second half championship. Only one point separates these two guys, and the pyramid is brought to you by the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. The best play here. Turbo and Sabre vowing to protect their real estate at the top. Should either man get there, it's worth 10 points. Sabre has been assigned to Joseph Edwards. Joseph so quick is on the move, but Sabre there to catch him and throw him down. Look at the speed that Joe Edwards has got. He's got a shot. He's got a bona fide shot. Up. He is going to beat Sabre. Yeah, he got there in the nick of time. Trip oh. the sensor. Look out, Dave. JoJo used that screen to his advantage big time. Screen and speed, 15 seconds. Turbo playing cat and mouse with Dave. Look oh, he's out, guys. taking him down. Down to the bottom he goes. Joe Edwards is having a great time up there. He can relax. <laughs> and that is it. What a grueling workout for Dave Dietrich. Joe Edwards now in command, 28-19 after this event. JoJo using that speed. He ducks in behind Dave and takes advantage of it. Sabre couldn't get there in time. JoJo, the bullet, gets 10. JoJo, you used that screen to your advantage. You just took off and left Sabre in the dust. Uh, it was just speed and being scared, like I just said, being scared. I think that's the fastest I ever moved on there. It almost got you at the top, man. I died for it, but it didn't happen. And I was like, oh, don't throw me, don't throw me. <laughs> it was fun. Thanks, guys. Fear sometimes a great motivator. It certainly was for JoJo Edwards as he gets 10 points. You look great, Zap and Ice. So do Bernie and Peggy. They have so far through the previous four events. They're set to go in Pyramid. Ice and Zap ready to pounce on Bernie and Peggy. Peggy had an oh, opening. Oh. Zap, Zap missed the football. Look out, Bernie. She's going to go flying. Peggy odita has got 10 already. <laughs> Peggy gave her a move, went the other way, beat her to the top. Beautiful. I don't know what Zap's trying to Bernie's do here. Oh, wow. Bernie trying to muscle her way out of Zap's grasp. Couldn't do it. Ten seconds to go. Bernie needs the points, but Zap not cooperating. And that's it. Peggy O gets the ten. All Bernie gets is a hug from Zap. And maybe a headache, too. <laughs> I think you're right, Mike. Zap really was awesome. Bernie looks like she was trying to pick her up, but it wasn't going to happen today. Zap loves the contact. Let's get physical. Our chess match in midair, our race across the rings, hang tough. Next for our women. For the Gladiators, there she is, Zap. Ready to do her ring thing. Extremely popular, especially when it comes to going at it in hang tough. Bernie Wooster first up. If she can get 10 points here, she'll cut Peggy's lead to just six. See how well she does in the rings. Looks good. Looks very good, but this is a long way away from Nebraska. <laughs> and a few years. Well, she's retained those gymnastic skills. She's pumping hard. Moving she gets fast. one more ring here. She's got a serious chance. Oh, wow. She's got that one. She could get it. She's going. Holy cow. 
She did it. 10 points, 10 very important points against Zap. Bernie got off to a fast start. She took the outside lane. Zap got hung up in the middle, and Bernie rushed to victory. She now trails by only six points with one event to go before the eliminator. Well, Zap might be stinging a little bit after losing to Bernie there. That was her first loss of the season in Hang Tough. We'll try to get back into the flow here against Peggy O, Peggy Odita. Peggy, our sales manager from Air Group Express. We'll see if she can fly through this. One eye on the gladiator, one eye on the rings. Wow, she's moving easy. Zap better backtrack where Peggy is on her way to picking up some major points here. Zap looking to cross over. Peggy kind of changed her line of attack there and ended up on the outside. Zap backtracks. We're under 20 seconds. There she goes. Zap is right there with Peggy. She's going to have to leap for it. Those hey. legs and can't do it. Zap never seemed to get going there. Peggy Odita picks up 10 more points. When Zap loses once in her best event, that raises a few eyebrows, but when she loses twice on the same day of competition, that indeed shocking that has never, ever happened before here at Gladiator Arena. Peggy, it looked like you were doing everything you could to avoid Zap. You stopped, backed up, came back. I got to a point, I was like, I don't know where to go. I don't know if I can grab this ring. I was like, oh, please, just let her not get me. I was lucky. <laughs> she was lucky, right, Zap? Luck. <laughs> yes. Often. It, it, no, she's it a great was, competitor. It was a good battle. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> Peggy Odita on a roll. Men are up next. David Dietrich trailing by only nine. Anything can happen. Turbo chalking up and ready to rumble here on the rings against David Dietrich. Dave has a huge contingent of friends from New York. Here at Gladiator with him, the bad news, Turbo, his record, 6-0. and oh. David was successful in this event during the elimination round, despite being 215 pounds, but like you said, a tough opponent today. Turbo goes 245, he's oh so graceful. And he's got David in trouble right away. David's trying to hang on with one hand and fend Turbo off with the other. He will definitely need two. At least two hands. Turbo being very methodical. <laughs> Dave knows the end is near, and down they go. Yeah, right, my friend. Turbo's so good in this event, we might need to blindfold him. JoJo, who's up next, may need to work a little mojo on Turbo to get by him here. You call me sir. We'll always call you sir in this event. JoJo Edwards could pat his lead. Ready? Tall order. His father, Joseph Edwards Jr. JoJo's actually Joseph Edwards III. But his father, at this moment, in an intensive care unit in a Houston hospital. This effort today is definitely for his dad. He looks great. He's forcing <laughs> Turbo to pull oh. everything out of his bag of tricks. And Turbo does it again, but JoJo still with that nine point lead, which is about the best we could have expected, he could have expected against the king of the rings, Turbo. That's why they call me the man. I'm simply the purest athlete in Gladiator Arena. The reason you see me out here on the court all by myself, because it takes practice, practice, practice. If you want to be the best, I want to be the best. Right into the net. Last 
chance for our contenders to earn points before the Eliminator, Breakthrough and Conquer. Joe Edwards has a nine point lead over David Dietrich. Joseph Edwards, the bullet is up first. Here we go, time. Saber will be in the conquering Tower Manning Breakthrough. Chance for our contenders to pick up 10 points, five if they're successful in each of these disciplines. The Baytown Bullet, shaking and bacon, trying oh, a couple of sweet oh, moves. Oh, oh. Tower yeah. didn't go for either of them. No points there. JoJo obviously very disappointed, but he can't let that affect him now because he'll have his hands full with Saber. Five seconds left now for JoJo to get any part oh. of Saber's body out of that ring. Shot, bro. <laughs> So Tower and Sabre defend their turf. No points for JoJo Edwards. Size does matter. Remember that. Well, then David Dietrich may have an advantage. All 215 pounds of him. Here's some video of him practicing breakthrough and conquer. He's ready to go. Get ready. Ready, ready. Tower has been waiting for this showdown, tries to shove Dave out of bounds and does cut off the angle. Not to meet the contender instead of the other way around. No points there. This ought to be good in Conquer, where he meets Saber. Whoa, he got him. Saber lost a sense of where he was in that ring, and David used the pure power move to push him out. Five big points for David Dietrich. He now trails by only four. Great power move. He's in the driver's seat. Well, Peggy Odita's in the driver's seat in her battle with Bernie Wooster. She leads by 16. Peggy's up first. One of her goals to compete in the 1996 Olympics for her native country of Nigeria. That's where her parents hail from. Ice will be in breakthrough jazz in the conquering. Peggy, the number one seed with all kinds. Did you see that move? Oh. Come on, Ice. Come on, Ice. Ice went after it. Ice had her, but Peggy slipped away to pick up five points. <laughs> that was interesting. We've never seen that from a contender before. <laughs> I don't think most are brave enough to do that. Ice almost successful in stripping the ball away. OK, hunkering down in the conquering. Jazz knows to stay low. Stay low and keep your legs away from the contender. Time expires. Peggy can't pull Jazz out. So Peggy does walk away with five points and break through and conquer. Peggy now leads 42-21, but Bernie Wooster can pick up a very important 10 right here. We can't beat a gladiator. Jazz and ice, poised. Oh, wow. Little shuffle, little stutter step, but she falls short as yeah. ice brings her down. No points there. Now it's on to Jazz and the conquering. Bernice says she grew up with three older brothers and she was wrestling them all the time. I don't think any of her brothers was as tough as Jazz. So. <laughs> I don't think so. She's gonna try this bar arm and whip her out. Jazz didn't let Bernie tie up with her, and so no points there in the conquer ring. Well, Bernie had the right idea there, but it didn't work. She still trails 42-21, heading into the eliminator. Not a good idea to count Bernie Wooster out. She came from behind to beat Karina Grizofi to get to these semifinals. She's a pretty good all-around athlete, and if she was a gladiator, her name would be... I think it would be Sting, like a bee, because bees are very productive, and uh, they go about their business, they're hard workers, but if you mess with them, you're gonna get stung. Being a gladiator means... Everything to me. My horse is my... Best friend. 
Powerball is... Tackling. Fame is... Very cool. The most embarrassing thing I ever did was... The most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to me was when we were in Texas on the tour. My name was called. I walked out, tripped, and fell on my face in front of 10,000 people. <laughs> A spot in the second half championship awaits the winner of the Eliminator. And right now, Peggy Odita has got her foot in the front door. Her mastery in the previous seven events has given her a 10 and a half second lead over Bernie Wooster. Bernie, to be sure, has her work cut out for her. But then for the former Nebraska farm girl, hard work is a way of life. She's with Lisa at the start line. Lisa? Okay, Bernie, you've done this once before. You beat Karina Grisalfi in the elimination round. You came from behind. How can you do it again? I'm just going to do my best, and uh, hopefully I can do a repeat of the last time. Um, but uh, we'll see. Hopefully I'll see you at the finish line. Uh, hope so. Thanks. It's going to be a tough haul, however, for Bernie. Lisa, her best time in the Eliminator, 1 minute and 42 seconds. Peggy O's best time, 1.08. And the Eliminator brought to you by Skittles and four flavors. Original wild berry, tart and tangy and tropical. Skittles taste the rainbow. Peggy O set to go. The sales and marketing manager for Air Group Express. Stanford graduate, BA in studio design. Pac-10 heptathlon champion. The epitome of the scholar athlete. Putting on a show so far in the first seven events. And ready to do the same here in the Eliminator. Here comes Bernie Wooster, the former Nebraska farm girl. She'll lure car, no question about that. But Peggy's so good, she'll need to make a major mistake for Bernie to catch up. She's having problems on the hand bike. Muscles in the cross. No problem with the spinning cylinder, now the cargo net. Here comes Bernie. One of these women moving on to the second half championship. And right now, it looks to be Peggy Odita. The wall, no problem. What athleticism, what grace. Our contenders given two bona fide attempts up the treadmill. If they can't do that, they're allowed to run up the side. That treadmill is a bear for all of our contenders, especially after going through the previous obstacles. But Peggy O has done it. She crosses the barrier first. In a time of 117, and the fans here at Gladiator Arena bringing Bernie Wooster home. She grew up on a farm in Omaha, Nebraska. She knows that her chores aren't done yet. She'll finish. Good effort by Bernie. Lisa's with our winner. Peggy, you have been a competitive athlete all your life. You've done a million different things. We were talking before, you said you never expected to be here doing this. Never. <laughs> never. I mean, a year ago today, there was no way. Gladiators? <laughs> no way. And here you are, winning again. Winning in the semifinals. I can't believe it. You know, I'm trying to conserve some energy for the next round. <laughs> Hopefully, I'll make it through. <laughs> you were great. Thanks a lot, Thanks. Peggy. Fabulous effort Thanks. and athletic show put oh. on by Peggy Odita. She congratulates our runner-up, Bernie Wooster. Peggy will meet either Deanna Toibo or Carla Shares in the second half championship. In the men's competition, JoJo Edwards on the verge of a major upset as he leads number one seed, Dave Dietrich. He gets a two second head start over the former Rutgers University football player. JoJo is a man on a mission. He's in it to win it for his dad. He's with Lisa at the start line. Jojo, I know this is a very emotional time for you, and I also know that you would like to do this for Joe Jr. Exactly. I'm doing, I'm coming straight from the heart. All I got, if I, if I am victorious, it's for my father. Good luck. Jojo is actually Joseph Edwards III. His dad is Joseph Edwards Jr. And at the moment, critically injured in an intensive care unit in Houston, Texas. And 
who can forget what JoJo did last week? Coming from behind to beat Kid Flash, can he do it again? And the first part of this eliminator course, perhaps the most physically demanding. 25 feet of Versa Climber, straight up. Both men listening for the whistle. There it is. Wow, look at David Dietrich Kampf. Power personified. We oh, expected please. him to do well in this segment of the Eliminator, the Versa Climber. He's the first to reach the top. He has erased that two-second deficit. Here he comes now on the handbike. He's got to get it cranking because JoJo's fast. He's the first to cross. Across the cylinder. Oh. Dietrich safe there. JoJo slams into the cargo net. You gotta be steady here. You can't be helter-skelter or you'll cost yourself time. David, so strong. Here he comes now, down the zip line, extending his lead. He touches down first. Taking the inside line over the wall. JoJo's gotta hustle. Dave's gotta make it up the treadmill. He's gotta pump, he's gotta push, and down he goes. He gets two final fight attempts. JoJo Edwards uses the treadmill to win it. Once again, for the second round in a row, JoJo Edwards comes from behind in grand fashion, snatching victory from the jaws of defeat. Unbelievable. And you have to feel for Dave Dietrich. The number one seed was sensational. He can't believe it himself. JoJo. What a victory. I have goosebumps. You were on a mission. Yes, I was. Pops, that was for you. It'll be on. You will see. You won't believe it. I'll take it right after you, Dad. Great job, JoJo. Thanks. The bullet from Baytown, Texas, doing it for his dad. Hearty congratulations from the Hawk, the Tower, and from his opponent, Dave Dietrich. Well, next week, we will find out who will meet JoJo and Peggy in our second half final. The last chance to advance for these four contenders who are in it to win it. An emotional day, to say the least, here at Gladiator Arena. Certainly, our contenders left nothing in reserve. It was a day of disappointment for Dave Dietrich, but a day of dreams realized for JoJo Edwards, the Baytown Bull. Thanks to all of our contenders, Great, great effort.